Hello and welcome to my video review of the Appleberry theme from Crackberry.com. So I have the Blackberry Tour 9630 and I downloaded the Appleberry theme. Um, there are eight different versions of the theme so I chose to install the version that um, had the standard theme plus the today background which will as you can see if you go over to your calendar icon it will display uh, the upcoming events on the screen and if you go over to messages it displays the messages that are most recently in your inbox so let's take a look at the home screen so up top we see the status bar is uh, traditional gray like the apple status bars are we have the signal indicator at the top right the top right and the battery indicator at the top left um, the font is the same doesn't change uh, then we take a look at the dock on the bottom and this is kinda like the dock on the Mac where the icons will jump up once you highlight them um, it's pretty nice they have different icons for some of the standard Blackberry programs um, th these icons are the icons that are normally used in the uh, Mac programs. We have the calendar, the iCal icon, the Safari icon for the browser, the mail icon for non-Gmail enhanced um, mailboxes. We have a couple more to do, uh, contacts, clock, the iTunes icon is for the media, is for um, media and music. We have the media icon over here, it's just a standard right there. I know the screen's a little hard to see with the angle of the camera. Um, the search icon is the standard search icon on the Mac. And the options icon, the lock icon, the power icon, these are pretty standard icons. Um, if we take a look in the top left you can see, let's change the... So if you see the top left right up here we have the uh, messages folder and you can see the little mouse that's a pretty cool feature the uh, mouse pointer is on the actual screen with this um, you don't have that in the normal blackberry but we do have that here uh... which is pretty cool it's pretty nice um, i like that uh... let's take a look at the menu so the menu is actually uh... kind of more like a mac menu the font isn't exactly the same but the colors and the background are kind of similar, the gray background with the font. Um, let's take a look at what else. Okay, I'm going to lock it. Well, first I'm going to show you the standby screen. So uh, anything, any menus or messages that pop up have the standby message, or the, the message with the, the gray and dark gray menu bar of the standard Apple, uh, any standard Apple laptop. So, you know, we're going to have this in standby mode you see the top gray dark bar and then the lighter gray where the text is which is pretty standard for uh, Mac computers which is again a nice feature uh, it comes with four background images I chose the Aurora theme image I just I don't know I just seem to like that one um, so this is the menu you get so when you have menu options you get these but these buttons and you get these a lot in Mac laptops these, these kinds of buttons um, let's go here you saw how when I hit unlock, you get that little graphical bug right there. That's a bug in the Tor version. The Tor version is a beta version, so um, there are several problems with it. Uh, I think that's one of them. Um, I can show you another problem that they've been having with the beta version for the Tor. Uh, they will release a free update when they resolve all the issues for anyone who's purchased the theme. So that's pretty nice we don't have to buy an upgrade like some of the applications but there are a few bugs right now that have to be worked out here's another one you see how all the icons have this you know circle type of image and medium does not it goes back to the blackberry one um, it's another bug they have to work out um, some people said that they were having problems with speed uh, I haven't noticed any problems with speed um, it hasn't slowed down my my uh, blackberry at all if you go to the uh, open programs, you'll see that the icons for many of these are slightly different. Uh, just icons that were taken again from the uh, Mac operating system. So you see at the top where it displays my email address, general at whatsgoodblog.com, you see that, there, that that space is wide open. Now normally, in the normal BlackBerry theme, that, that would be there, but if you go to the main uh, 
messages folder, you still will get that that space, but there's nothing up there, which is a, a bug, I'm pretty sure. Uh, like I said, this is a beta version, so there are a bunch of bugs that have to be worked out, but um, that is definitely one of them. Also, if you go to the top of here, you see how options, you see up top there's that thin white bar, that's another, uh, another um, bug with it. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, some people notice slowdowns and extreme memory usage. Uh, mine hasn't slowed down at all. Let's check my memory usage right now. If it's uh, anything that was not normal. No, that's pretty normal. Um, so I haven't noticed anything like that. It does take a long time to boot after you you turn it on the first time. I have noticed that. Uh, the loading screen is a small rotating um, the apple wheel, the color wheel. I've noticed that. That's pretty cool. Uh, overall, it, you know, it's uh, it's got some pretty cool features. If you like Mac, I'm a Mac user. I've had a Mac for a while, and I like uh, having you know, I like the Mac outlook of it. The you know, it makes you feel more like an Apple as opposed to um, any other computer, any other computer, any other background. It doesn't do anything special, uh, but it does change the appearance. So if you like Macs, uh, this would be a good theme. If you don't like Macs or don't know anything about Macs, then there's you know no point in downloading this. Thanks. If you have any questions or comments, just please let me know. Thanks again.